Hi, this is Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this video tutorial we will continue to take a look at the WP Easy PayPal Payment Accept plugin. In the previous tutorial we covered the basic setup and usage of the plugin. We will now take a look at a couple of different shortcode parameters that you can add to change what you are offering your customers. When you use the basic shortcode that produces a product or service similar to the one on my screen the information is pulled directly from the Accept PayPal Payment Settings page. This works well when offering one product or service, but what happens if you'd like to offer a couple of different price products, or if you'd like to send the payment to a different PayPal email address? We'll take a look at a couple of different shortcodes that will allow these functions. I've landed on the documentation page for the WP Easy PayPal Payment Accept plugin, and it's here that I can find all the shortcodes that relate. So I can use this shortcode here to create an entirely new product or service on my site that doesn't pull from that main settings page. So I'll show you how this one will work. I'll need to copy the entire shortcode, copy, and now if I go back to my WordPress dashboard, I add a new page and in the text editor, I paste in this short code. I can enter in an entirely new PayPal email. And I can choose the options of what I'd like to sell and their price. So for example, t-shirt payment, I could charge $10. Ticket payment, I could charge 20. And membership payment, I could charge 30 and I publish this out and we take a look at it, you can see that I'm offering those things, the t-shirt, the ticket and the membership payment. And anyone who purchases this, their payment will go to that test at PayPal email. So through the use of an additional shortcode, I'm now offering this product and this service at the same time on my site. The service money will go to one PayPal and my product earnings will go to another PayPal email. This is just one use of a shortcode. Back on the documentation page, there's a section titled Shortcode Parameters. You can add any of these parameters to the, either the basic shortcode or an additional shortcode to add different functionalities. For example, adding text, or you might like to add a button image or text, or you might even like to add your country code. So you can add these parameters into the shortcode. I'll show you how you can use the button text shortcode parameter, so I'll copy that, to replace the button image with some simple text. So if I head back to my WordPress and I edit this page, here's my shortcode and within my shortcode I can paste that parameter equals and I can choose what I'd like my button text to read. So I can say pay now. And if I update my product and we go and view it, you can see that that PayPal image button has changed to a simple text button that says pay now. So you can use the shortcode parameters or you can use the shortcode examples on this page to offer entirely new products or services on your site that don't pull from that original settings page. This is helpful if you want to offer a couple of services or a couple of products on your WordPress site. So that brings me to the end of this tutorial on additional shortcodes and shortcode parameters for the WP Easy PayPal Payment Accept plugin. If you have any further questions, please head over to our forum.